Hello Taurus, in today's reading we'll be looking at whoever this person is that involved you in a third party left side will be representing your energy when it comes to you, right side will be their energy when it comes to that third party. So how they're feeling about you, we have ten of swords, the moon. Well, if this person's done you wrong, they're, yeah, they're extremely guilty here. Um, when it comes to both parties is what I'm seeing. But in terms of you, there's a lot of hurt um, because there was emotions here. The other energy, it seems to be more superficial, whereas with you, it seemed like this person had um, emotions for you and they're very hurt What you know, in terms of whatever is happening um, between the both of you. Some of you, this could have been a breakup, right? Ten of Swords, an ending, and they're missing you is what I'm getting. They think about you a lot, secretly. It's almost like yearning yearning for you. How they're viewing you, we have three of cups, wheel of fortune. They're viewing you as someone who's enjoying life. You're entering a happier cy cycle after this ending. You're doing well, you're out and celebrating. They also see you as someone who's very blessed. You're lucky and you just have things going for you. Some of them see you as going out and dating, being open to meeting new people. You may also be traveling, so if you've been posting, um, for example, if you're not communicating, if you're posting anything online and this person has access to your social media, um, they do watch you, they watch your posts. Let's clarify, actually. Why is, why is this person being Taurus as the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, Three of Wands, I'm um, looking out here into the horizon waiting for your ships to come in but it's also in terms of mindset someone who's very positive so they feel that you're happy um you're happy go lucky very cheerful <laughs> so that is how they're seeing you someone who's living the best life what action they'll be taking towards you we have seven of cups clarified by the king of cups they're confused they will be taking action or they want to but they're trying to figure out what move they should move sorry what move they should make next here they're thinking about coming to you with an expression of love but they don't know what to do so right now in their head they're confused and trying to come up with a plan on how to approach you or whether they should approach you at all right that is the vibe how you're feeling we have two of wands well, you have a decision to make when it comes to this person. I don't think they're done, so you'll have to choose whether you want to let them back in or if you want to move in a different direction altogether. So it's almost like it really depends on you. Free will at play here, Taurus. Why is Taurus feeling the Two of Wands? Four of Pentacles. Some of you are holding on to this person. Four of Pentacles, Two of Cups, it's a soulmate connection. There's a lot of love here. They love you. I see that with the King of Cups. Your outcome, Taurus, we have Tower, Queen of Swords. I see some sort of conversation, confrontation, you know, laying things out on the table. I'm coming to some sort of decision, conclusion here. But it's almost whoever the Queen of Swords is, um, I don't think you are going out of your way to make anything happen, but you'd be receptive to hear this person out. A lot of you, I feel this Queen of Swords is your energy because it's also Libra and you are at a crossroads, so it can be, right? A decision you're having to make and you're saying, I need the truth. Um, if you come to me correct, I can reconsider. That is sort of the energy I'm getting here. It really depends. I'm saying free will because some of you may choose to end this. Tower, Queen of Swords, you may choose to cut it out. So it's, some of you will stay, work it out. This person does have love for you. This situation didn't seem to be serious. Um, actually, let's look at, mm, let's look at your advice here. Your advice is Page of Swords, Queen of Wands. Well, Page of Swords was clarified by the Queen of Wands. 
Well, if you've been, you know, struggling with any self-worth issues or confidence issues, they're wanting you to work on that with the Queen of Wands. is a very empowered queen, um, someone who's decisive. Um, she takes actions, right? She's Wands energy. I'm saying she because the queen gender doesn't matter. But yeah, they're wanting you to be decisive and take action. Um, but this seems to be in regards to some creative projects. They're also saying if you don't want to stick around with this, uh, individual that you have options you're very attractive so keep your options open page of swords but page of swords can also be get more information ask a lot of questions so if there's any confusion they do want you to communicate if you want to let this person back in and they reach out to you don't hold back that is what i'm getting but they're at, they're wanting you to be observant and listen to your intuition because we also have the black cat here and Page of Swords is usually a detective, right? Someone who's digging beneath the surface. So that is what they're wanting you to do here. I'm not jump to any conclusions and really take your time and know your worth really with the Queen of Wands. Okay, this person that put you in a third party, their energy when it comes to this other person, we have Knight of Cups, Justice, Five of Swords, Three of Swords. So it seems like you're, this person didn't have good intentions towards the third party to begin with. If they're committed to this person, say they're binded legally but with justice, um, they, they likely will go back to apologize and work on things with that person. But I see a lot of conflict here between the two um, because of that third party, this person's deceptive behavior right but i'm also getting this person was very charming towards this third party um very romantic but they didn't intend on staying so it's sort of a hit it and quit it sort of situation if they're not already committed how they're viewing the third party we have nine of pentacles the devil someone who's single <laughs> you know what I'm getting is they're viewing the other person as just someone they're hooking up with. It's more lustful. I don't see anything emotional here. Knight of Cups in this case is just the words. They're very charming, perhaps trying to seduce this person, but it's more so so they could get what they wanted out of the situation. So that is what I'm seeing. I don't feel they have emotions for this third party. It was something physical. Because their intentions towards this third party, we have Knight of Wands, the Fool, is to have a good time. It's sort of in and out. This person can be a player, someone who plays the field. It was something casual, though, with this energy. What action they'll be taking towards this person? We have Nine of Swords, Strength. They're not taking action towards the third party because there's no feelings there. It was just about the physical, the passion. But there is guilt when it comes to both parties, right? We have nine of swords. This person can be an air sign or someone who's just very stuck in their head. They're overthinking. And there is remorse here. The outcome here, we have star, two of swords. So yeah, this person's at a crossroads. See, if they're committed with the devil justice, for one, this is a very toxic relationship. I don't understand. Um, if they're committed, then they're in it for the wrong reasons really maybe just because of the passion or something it can be something karmic here as well but yeah they're at a crossroads they have a decision to make if they're committed to this person and they're not ready to make that decision they're blocked off it's a stalemate here and some of you may ask this person to pick a side if that is the case right queen of swords is not one to entertain third fourth parties she doesn't like uncertainty so yeah, that's where it's at, stalemate with whoever this third party is, but if they're not committed, I don't see much happening there. That was just a one night stand fling energy. If you don't want this person, Taurus, is there a new love coming in for you? We have King of Swords, Six of Swords, Hangman. Yeah, you actually have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, which would be a great match because if you're coming to us, the Queen of Swords, this is your other half. Um, a very strong intellectual bond with this person. Um, this One of you may have a child or children from a previous connection, but that won't be an issue. If that is the case, this person will be very compassionate um, towards your children or you to theirs. 
and others of you um, I'm also seeing distance here so some of you may find love um, literally across the ocean but a different city town that sort of thing so you may have to move to be with this person or they have to move to be with you but what I like about this person's energy is they're not confused <laughs> they're similar to yourself they have strong values, they know what they want, and they go after it. They're very communicative, you won't have to guess where you stand with them. And they are they can be blunt, so they say it like it is, they're honest. And I think you'll admire their courage to be themselves and tell it like it is. There will be a lot of mutual respect here. There is an element of divine timing with Hangman, so if you have been waiting, it is being divine you're being divinely guided here uh to this person but yeah they may not be in the location where you're at right now okay so this is dark confessions of the soul for those of you that want to know about this person that involved you in a third party <coughs> let's see what they want to say to you taurus Yeah, I can see that insecurities. I feel unworthy of having love in my life. I feel miserable and lost. Yeah, this is when it comes to you. The moon, ten of swords. I was saying they're secretly yearning for you. There is a feeling of unworthiness. Maybe they're self-sabotaging. They sabotage this connection. But they're definitely feeling miserable and lost without you if you've distanced yourself. They're guilty. I know that you may not feel for me as I feel for you. They feel it's unrequited at this point, right? I was telling you they feel that you're enjoying your life. You're out with your friends having fun. You're not bothered. So they feel like you don't love them. I feel alone and in the dark. Where is my light? Yeah, you're the queen of wands. You're the light. You're the sun. They're in the moon energy and since this ending it's been darkness even if we look at the imagery here right with the moon and the darkness yeah literally i feel alone and in the dark this person's really going through it they're getting their karma taurus if they've done you wrong it's like dark night of the soul energy here this person's being forced to take a step back and assess their actions and go within and deal with their inner demons here as well, right? Let's get you some oracle cards here. This is the love triangle oracle. Love or money, interesting, wasn't expecting that. We have sex for money, in it purely for personal benefit, in the relationship for money. Okay, if they're committed, I was telling you, um, they may be in this relationship for sex. We have sex for money. I'll let you interpret that because we have nine of pentacles, devil. Um, and others of you, if this is a marriage with justice, devil, something karmic, it may be that. There's a lot going on, finances intertwined, and this person will lose a lot. Although they're not happy, they're sticking around. But I'm also being drawn to in it purely for personal benefit, which I mentioned here, right? I was telling you, the Knight of Cups is not true feelings they have for this person. It's more just um, being charming and trying to woo this person to get something out of them. Keep in mind, uh, Taurus, this is a general reading. If you don't identify with this left side, the right side could be representing you. So it really depends. We also have stringing you along, keeping you as plan B, no intentions of committing, giving you false hope. If this, if this is um, resonating with you, you would know you'll have to listen to your intuition. But in this case, um, the left side was representing you. At least that was my intention, and there is feelings here for you. But they're not leaving. If they're married to this person, they're legally binded. I don't see them leaving. Something about their finances. 
Yeah, I was self-care, self-love with the Queen of Wands. Putting yourself first, healthy choices, bringing balance to your life. So if you're not working on self-care, establishing healthy boundaries, putting yourself first, bringing balance into your life, that is what they want you to work on. And some of you are. <laughs> Look at that. Long journey and travel. Romantic getaway, business and pleasure trip, long distance relationship. I mean, it could be with this person, but if you're wanting new love, I see that there's some travel involved. Or one of you may be moving around the time you meet, something along those lines. And we also have children here. Everybody wins. It's a win-win outcome. Yeah, this person has a lot of regret. Deeply regret their actions. Feel guilty for cheating. Trying not to hurt anyone. So, yeah, this person caused a lot of pain, perhaps on both ends, and they're, they are, they have remorse. We have children affecting love life, wants to build a family, possible pregnancy. I'm not sure what that's about, but there can be children involved. What does this person want from you? I got, I got what they wanted from this person was something more physical. What does this person that put Taurus and third party want from Taurus? Yeah, they want a family with you. Some of them have a family with you. They want to build a family. We have possible pregnancy, which can be the Ace of Cups. Some of them have children with you. You're the one they want. They want the Ten of Cups with you. And they are. They deeply regret their actions. Let's get you advice from this love story sketch oracle. What advice do you have for Taurus that were involved in a third party? Marriage. <laughs> That's crazy. You two will find peace and happiness. <laughs> Ten of Cups. You two will find peace and happiness, love each other wholeheartedly, and no matter what challenges might carry you guys apart, you will find each other. So yeah, there is challenges here, but there's also true love. King of Cups. This person's brainstorming. They're wanting to make it up to you. They're a little bit confused. Some of them may be afraid of your reaction. But this is straight out. You're actually the first sign where they're straight out saying you're the one they want, you're Taurus. For the other signs I filmed before you as the energy on the right. Wow. We have ego trip. They know they missed out on a good woman or man. Their mistake was thinking you wouldn't walk away. Now it's your turn to be chased. Yeah. They'll be coming back, wanting to pursue you win you over, win your trust. You don't trust them, Queen of Swords. But there, there can be a happy ending here. But I was telling you, it's a win-win outcome. So if it doesn't work out with this person, you'll still find your Ten of Cups marriage with patience, with divine timing, hanged man. Let's get you one from this deck as well. We have hidden blessings and forgiveness was wanting to peek through. We have authenticity. Whether it's getting to know your true self or showing the world who you really are, it will feel liberating. So if you've been wearing a mask, I mean, see, Queen of Wands is a very bold, straightforward energy. And the Page of Swords in your advice was saying, you know, say it like it is. If you have any questions, don't hold back. Be your true self. They're wanting you to be honest with this person. We have things are not always what they seem. You'll soon realize that it all worked out for your highest good. Yeah, we have angelic help here, answers. You're being protected, you're being guided. It may be difficult to see that right now. I mean, your energy is not telling me that you're grieving or you're going through a difficult period, but Perhaps that was the energy in the past, right? And you're coming out of that. 
right now you're feeling hopeful and you're looking here into the future wondering what's next this person will be back that is what is coming through and then you'll be at a crossroads you'll have to choose but no decision will be the wrong decision in this case is what they're reassuring you with or without this person you'll have your ten of cups so it really depends on what you want Yes, Taurus, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself, and I will see you next week. Bye.